Welcome to Dancing in the Kitchen. Clearly, we're not in my kitchen, we're outside of my patio, in front of my second most favorite appliance, my barbecue. The first one is, of course, my espresso machine. Today, we're gonna grill up some tomahawk wagyu ribeye steak. Look at this thing. It's gigantic. It's like a dinosaur bone. And we're gonna make a chimichurri sauce to go along with it. So we turned on the barbecue, we're going to cook this steak in direct heat. So half of the barbecue is on, half the barbecue is off. And I put some um, hickory wood in the side to give it a little bit of smoke. So we're going to take the steak, we're going to put this on the side that's turned off. And it's good that I have a big barbecue that can actually fit this meat. Now we're going to actually use a thermometer as well, just to make sure we have the right temperature. A medium rare. I'm gonna put that in. And that's it. Now, let's make some chimichurri sauce. All right, we're done the chimichurri sauce. It's gonna go great with the steak. Now I think we deserve some wine. Today's wine is from Magnata Wineries, again. They're located in Vaughan. This is their Grand Reserve 2015 Meritage. This is a Bordeaux style wine. So that means it's a blend of uh, Cap Sauvignon, uh, Cap Franc, and Marlot. full-bodied, dry, you can taste spices, dried spices, um, black currant, blackberry, great wine with steak. If you like Bordeaux style wines and you want a deal, I'll pick up this bottle right here. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. In the meantime, we made some chimichurri sauce and some asparagus. Well, I haven't made this asparagus yet but put some olive oil, some oregano, some garlic, salt and pepper. I'm gonna put this in the barbecue. And, as you can see, the steak is ready to be flipped. So we're gonna flip it on the other side. While the steak is uh, smoking and uh, heating from the inside, let's talk about the steak. So Wagyu, what is Wagyu? Wagyu beef uh, first originated in Japan. So in Japan, Japanese mountains, they, uh, they bred these cattle specifically for their fatty um, meat. So as you can see, uh, you saw earlier on the, when I showed you the meat, it has a nice, beautiful marbleization inside. So a nice fat content throughout the meat. It gives it like a buttery, uh, beautiful tenderness to it. And it melts in your mouth. Per apparently, I've never had it before. It's my first time. Uh, now this, this meat is from Canada probably or from the United States um, and I'm really excited to try it out. Also, it's a tomahawk steak, so it's a ribeye steak with, with a bone attached, right? So the bone itself is going to give you extra flavor as well. So you have Wagyu plus tomahawk. Wow. Alright. I think neighbor's dog is barking. We have some uh, entertainment in the background. In the meantime, 
think the steak is ready. So we're gonna take the thermometer, the probe out of the steak. And the asparagus is ready as well. I'll take that off. And now it's time to sear the steak. Make sure you have some gloves. I'm gonna take this guy. about one minute on each side. All right, I think we're done. See a nice caramelization on the steak. All right. As you can see, I finished the whole thing. Not really. Had some help. Hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time.